Dr. Bo Beard here. Today we're going to be talking about scapular mechanics and how important it is to properly load the scapula and have proper movement for overhead athletes and just a whole variety of uh, activities. So what we're going to start with is actually one of the screens that we do on our athletes. There's a plethora of other screens that we use, but this is a very easy, important one to pick out a couple things. So I'm going to have lovely Dr. Burdick come help me out with this screen. So we're going to go quadruped hands under shoulders, knees under hips, and now we're just going to have you rock forward a bit and just back and keep going. So the first thing you'll notice are Dr. Burdick's scapulas or shoulder blades are coming up off the thoracic wall here. Now this right here is classic scapular flaring. Winging is where they move lateral, flaring is where they come off of the thoracic wall. Tied to a little bit different muscle uh, problems or inhibition there, but both can be corrected about in the same fashion. Now, what it, relax for a second. What can this lead to or attribute to? Well, if we take, let's say, a pitcher, for example, if a pitcher goes into their arm circle, arm circle or scap load and they can't put that scapula into a good locked position on the thoracic wall, well, then they're having to counteract that force through the shoulder, elbow, lumbar spine, anywhere else in the body except where it should be coming from the scapulothoracic joint. So that's going to lead to injuries in the shoulder, the elbow, it could lead to injuries anywhere really. The body's a mystery sometimes and it kind of just picks apart weak points. But what we're trying to get at is something as simple as this, it can be screened easily, worked on, and hopefully we head out the injury, but if not, it can lead to some big issues. So thanks Dr. Burdick.